welcome to my channel everyone in this video we are going to talk about stripe payment gateway so far we have done visa payment gateway and paypal payment gateway and if you want to check those out link in the description and today's topic is stripe payment gateway and uh, stripe has many types of payment method like i can pay one time payment you can uh, they also have subscription method and they also have apple pay method and those are the separate things and today we are going to cover the one time payment and i have already done everything that needed so i'm just going to explain everything just in a minute first let me show you the demo so if i'm going to click the pay button it says invalid credit card first obviously i have to in, uh, insert payment card sorry credit card and this is this is this are the test card that provided by stripe now i'm going to click on pay now yeah it says payment successfully so everything is working working and i'm going to also show you the data that you're going to receive uh, when anyone can when anyone will make a payment so right now i'm using test uh, test test key so that's why i enable this viewing test data and and what you need for stripe payment gateway just you need a publish key and a secret key and obviously you need to have a stripe account and i already done everything so just i'm going to explain everything so uh, today we'll only cover the one time payment that you can receive via stripe and if needed in future we are going to cover the apple payment gateway and the subscription module in future so uh, if you are new to this channel consider subscribing if you like my content and if you like this video and uh, give it a like and share your thoughts and comment and it's really help the youtube algorithm so jump into the port first uh, what we need uh, just let me put that side by side yeah that's perfect so first we need a credit card that is credit card input for this beautiful credit card animation and ui so first we have to install this credit card input to get the credit card data and uh, and i am also going to share the github repo of this project so they can you can just simply copy and paste it into your project and so what we are doing here right now so we have uh, an image of stripe and credit card input where you are getting the credit card data and a button where you can, we are calling a function to uh, hit the api and also i will add the link of uh, this uh, package that i'm using the credit card input and one more thing that you can also find out the apis that i'm that we are using because the native uh, sorry not directly stripe doesn't provide any react native care sdk to make a payment and we are going to use apis to make a payment and you can also use a php api you can also use node.js in the back end but you can just going to call apis using fetch and we are going to make the payment and you can also check out everything this they all they have everything in the listed here and it's pretty simple you just have to look for everything you want 
and we are going to call this API that's called charge I'm going to make this API I'm going to call this API for one time payment and it will return the payment data that we are going to receive and now so first storing that calling on change method and while the user is typing the credit card input and storing that in a state and state is defined over here first i'm going to comment everything that is calling and i'm going to understand everything okay and We don't need this function, I guess. Yeah, we don't need this function. It's just a previous data. And so, first, uh, yeah, so first we are storing that we have a state where we are storing the credit card data. And uh, secondly, uh, whenever our credit card data is uh, and we also have done if the credit card is valid you are going to show a white color and if it's uh, invalid it's going to show you a uh, red color like right? let me show you something yeah like that so and if you wondering about on um, test sorry in card data you can simply search test stripe card Test integration stripe. Mm -hmm. It is going to list the yeah. You can have all the list that are supported in stripe. You have a credit card number and a brand. I mean, automatically see the brand in here and in it is it for CCB and 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 expired date is in any feature dates. So and just a bit of styling in the credit card input and make a style on your own and then we are calling on submit button and let's check what is happening in on submit button first we are checking the card whenever user typing this card and if the user doesn't feel everything it's not going to return and true, it will always return false. When everything is filled up by the user, it will automatically return the return true. So we are checking is everything is true or not, and the card is valid, invalid. Is like the valid is not uh, something else. It's only have to be true. Then we can continue further things. Otherwise, the card is invalid. And after that, just naming a variable credit card token then we are calling a try catch method we are going to store the token in here and we are calling a function because we have to we need a token to call the charge api to make a payment so that's why we, then we need credit card data or debit card data basically card data to create the token so we are passing that data over here and calling get credit card token so we are calling a token api for that and we are getting that response from this function the credit card token and from this function we are getting credit card token so we need that function yeah and uh, we are we are calling this function to get the credit card token and if it succeeds it doesn't get any error then we are going to need the and if everything is okay then we are calling another api subscript user sorry it's not calling an api it's just uh, this return the new promise you are resolving that 
and we are returning we are storing that uh, credit card token dot id we are going to need that id into uh, token it's defined over here it should be card token not card token yeah card token and second thing is yeah everything is if, if everything is all right then we are going to call a new function that's called charges and we're going to make that payment with that function that called charges so uh, first we need to pass an object and that will be required this four parameter as the amount and we have amount 100 over here and we have back to end at currency and we have current currency is USD and then 100 means 1 dollar it will take uh, cents so 100 cent means 1 dollar and minimum is uh, like minimum maybe minimum I don't remember this we have to check minimum is 50 cents so we have to make a payment of minimum of 50 cents and then is description and in source we have to pass the credit card token ID that we make that we get from the get credit card token then you are calling the charges api and you have to pass the secret key through authorization in header and accept application slash json and content type is application x url encoded and it's a post method then everything is fine and everything is and then you are going to have a payment data that api will return an object and inside that payment data if status equals stickers to succeed that means our payment is successful and if not then you are going to show an error for the time being my gesture and giving alert that payment is failed and for in real uh, when you are implementing implementing this in your project then you have to make an and list of error like uh, you have to get the error from the object and you have to show that to either maybe the you don't have any sufficient balance or your credit card is expired or something like that <coughs> so if i he already seen that and uh, it, it's working so first we are going to check the minimum amount that we can have to give to, to make a payment. So if I enter 20 over here, it's going to show me that you have to minimum, you have to enter minimum 20, 50 cents maybe. Yeah, you have to enter minimum 50, at least 50. That means 50 cents, like a half dollar. And it's showing also payment failed. So in when you are implementing the live project, you have to get the message. Like inside payment data, you have error, and inside error object, we have the message. The amount must be at least 50, uh, half dollar. So you have to get the error and show to the user that uh, something is wrong and the wrong what is wrong right now, and the user will, will understand what is wrong. So now we are going to make 50 cents payment and I'm going to check if the payment is receiving in the dashboard or not yeah it says payment successfully so we are supposed to have 50 cents in our dashboard in previous we have one dollar one dollar and and also check the time I'm going to refresh and if we refresh we are going to see the 50 cents yeah here it is 50 cents in the description it says developers since subscription and also the time 9 16. it's time also changed everything is working all right and you can also customize uh, this uh, input text the input text over here you can just follow this thing or you can just simply follow the um package documentation to change the custom styling or anything you want you just need to follow the 
documentation and yeah that's pretty much it and everything is working fine so if you like this video subscribe to my channel like this video comment in the share your thoughts in the comment section and if you want to buy me a coffee link in the description you can also share me on social links link in the description thank you for watching this video see you in the next video